Hey, what's up you guys? It's Skidmark, back with another Marvel Legends review, and today we have something that I've been wanting for a while but could not get my hands on because of the high prices. We have the Marvel Legends Captain America Civil War Wave Black Panther figure. Man, this thing has been really hard to get. Uh, Amazon at one point had it listed at $300, and uh, it went down to $30, still didn't want it, but not to worry because on Walmart it's currently on rollback for 19 bucks. so if you never got this figure, Now's your chance, swing over to Walmart, get it right now. But now, enough of the long journey it's been to get the figure, let's talk about it itself. All right, you can see the figure through the window packaging. You can see Black Panther costume right here, the Chadwick Boseman head, and here's the build of figure piece. Got Captain America logo there. You got a picture of T'Challa on that side, and a picture of T'Challa on this side. On the back, you can see a picture with all the other figures from the wave, giant man build a figure. And there's a short read up on him over here. Armed with razor sharp claws and super speed, Black Panther pounces into the fight. All right, let's take him out of the box and see how he is. All right, here he is, Black Panther out of the box. And man, I gotta say, this figure definitely lived up to the hype. I think, let me just say, uh, first of all, I love that they included the Chadwick Boseman head sculpt because uh, I really wish that they would do that. For all figures, they should come with the unmasked head sculpt. Unlike the Iron Man figure that came out in that three pack recently, um, pretty sure they'll include it in a future Iron Man figure, but it's you know a bummer we can't have it right now for those of us who don't want to buy the three pack. Anyway, Black Panther figure, super cool. Let's take a look at him. All right, uh, let me. Might, might as well go over this head first, dude. I think that's a pretty decent likeness to Chadwick, but um, I. I swear he had like a beard in the movie. Am I crazy? Someone tell me if I'm crazy because I've only seen the movie once in theaters and I don't own it yet. But I could have sworn he had like a goatee in the movie. Um, you know, I'm guessing that this was like um, they didn't know that they were going to have him, you know, bearded in the movie. So they didn't make the figure according to that. But I could have sworn that he had one. Anyway, let's move on to the other head. Dude, this is so sick. Look at the details. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at that. Look at that. All the stitching. That is so crazy, dude. Like I said, man, Hasbro with the movie figures, they really bring their top game. I don't know why they can't do it with other figures. They reuse molds to death. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't. But look at this. Oh, let's see that. Look at that, man. How do they do... Dude, I admire the people who can sculpt all this. I want to be able to do that. Like, Old Boy Customs, man. If you guys haven't heard of him, go check him out. He does some crazy stuff. I customize too, but I'm not nearly as good as that guy. Let's look at the silver paint that they put here and then this is a separate piece right here that's glued on but it's all silver so nice the claws yeah man this figure is really cool comes with this um giant man build a figure piece looks like his left leg so yeah that's one more piece for the giant man and um dude let's uh check out his articulation then his head turns side to side, it looks up, it looks down, his arm turns 360, he has a swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows, his wrist swivels, has a hinge that goes up and down, he has this ab crunch, jeez, can I just, oh my god, that's crazy, but um, oh yeah, if you're wondering, you can see that um, although this pattern doesn't continue through, he still has some sort of texturing that continues throughout the whole figure. So um, although the pattern doesn't go through, at least the texturing is there. It still looks good. But anyway, he has a waist swivel. His leg goes forward that much. It doesn't go back very much at all. He has a thigh cut right there double jointed knees 
His foot goes down, it goes up, and we have ankle pivot. And measuring Black Panther out, you can see he is exactly at the six inch mark. And here he is next to the Civil War Captain America and Civil War Iron Man figures. He's shorter than both of them, which makes sense. So good scale there. And here we have him next to the Toy Biz Arrow Black Panther figure. I couldn't find the one from the Rocket Raccoon Wave. It's somewhere in my storage bin, but at least you can get a decent comparison between these two. As you can see, they look really awesome. Can't decide which one's my favorite. And here he is next to Ulysses Claw from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Andy Serkis. It's Caesar. You all know who he is. Man, I love Andy Serkis. I can't wait to see. Did you guys see the War for the Planet of the Apes trailer? Oh, man, man. I wish I could have seen the preview footage that they showed for that movie. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Dude, you guys have no idea. I love Planet of the Apes. And the last one was one of my favorite movies of all time. But, uh, yeah, Andy Serkis. I want to meet him one day. Super cool. And the review wouldn't be complete without seeing how he looks with the Walgreens exclusive Punisher head on him. And, um, I don't know. I mean, no. I, that's all I have to say. I'm sorry, Punisher. Still got to find a G.I. Joe for you. Man, I'm really glad to have this figure. I can't wait to see the Black Panther movie. I can't wait to see Civil War again. I can't wait to see Spider-Man Homecoming. Dude, it's just... The MCU just keeps getting better and better, and their figures reflect that. So, yeah, man, I'm going to be playing with this dude. I'm going to be posing him in all kinds of different ways. I'm going to be having him scratch up Cap Shield. That's another thing. That three-pack that came with Cap, Iron Man, and Spidey, they gave him just like a dirty, scuffed-up shield, man. They should have just given him a regular shield with claw marks through it. I don't know why they... It's bad enough that they gave us a dirty cap and a battle damage Iron Man that nobody wanted, but anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, if you want to see my two latest Marvel Legends figures reviews, you can click one of these two boxes right here. Uh, if you liked it, you could go watch some more of my reviews of other figures you might like to see, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! If you guys like this review and would like to see another one, let me know. I have hundreds of Marvel Legends figures, as well as many other toys and games. So, if there's something you'd like to see me review, comment below, and if I have it, I'll review it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see future videos. We really needed like a Hello Kitty variant to this head sculpt. Subscribe, thumbs up. Yes. <laughs>